Hi folks, here we are in Alliance, Nebraska. This is down in the Sand Hills, western Nebraska, where things stay really dry and really solid. This is Taylor's Salvage Yard. Uh, we can get you in touch with them, or you can look it up either way. But anyway, this was started by Doug Taylor back in 1980. And uh, now his son runs it, and uh, they're carrying on to the father's legacy here. And anyway, they have thousands of cars and trucks and good solid Western metal. So we're gonna walk through it. Uh, this place was expanded in the middle 90s to include, I think about 24 acres and it's just totally full. So, you know, enjoy the video and we'll take you through it. We're gonna start with this one here. This one is a GMC, uh, about a 1946, seven, or no, sorry, 46 GMC right in there. 47 would go to the next style. Look how nice the grill is and stuff on that and the cab, really nice parts on that one. Just missing a hood half. And we got a Ford F600 here. This one's got a Y block V8 in it. Another good old farm truck. This one's about a 1948 to 50. Looks like the nose is gone, but uh, still got a nice solid cab on there. That's a big F6. This one's cool here. Big uh, B600, it's a bus. Big heavy duty Ford bus. I don't know what the snorkel is for here. That's pretty wild. Oh, it's got a heater. I don't know if it's propane or what it is, but it's got a uh, like a furnace in there and that's the exhaust for it right there. That's a pretty wild bus. Look at the, the glass uh, lights up on top. Got the nice flashing lights. And we got remnants of an advanced design Chevy here. Looks like somebody pulled the cab and stuff. Just got a grill there. And this one is a 38 or 9 Ford truck. Uh, got the oval grill. Got a few doors on the back. So anyway, we're going to keep walking through here, but there's literally thousands of them. So you'll see things that we won't be able to, to video them all, uh, but we're going to catch most of the older stuff we can. Well, we're kind of starting down here. Um, we did a couple trucks in the, the aisle over there. We're going to continue up it, but... I kind of want to get way in the corner here and start down this way. So we got a couple shoebox Fords here. Two doors. Um, this is kind of down in the southeast corner of the yard. So it's kind of split in two different sections. There's a, a north section and a south section. Divided off by trees. Anyways, here's a Cadillac here. That one looks like I got in a rear end accident years ago, but it'd make a good parts car. All these things, you know, even if they're not cars that somebody would restore, some of them are, some of them aren't, but if they aren't, they have good parts because the things just are really solid down this way. The Sand Hills in Nebraska is one of the best areas for sheet metal. This one here donated a rear end, looks like. Got an old Chevy motor home here. We'll get way down in the corner just so we can have a starting point here. Otherwise, I've never been here before, so I might get lost. So there's another GMC down here in the corner. 40s GMC there. That one, I believe, is a 41. There's a 56 Ford cab here. It looks like it's got a some sort of ventilation system on the roof. Got some writing on there too, on the door. Not sure what it is. Owner operator. That thing's mounted right to the roof there. Maybe that's AC, I'm not sure. That's a 56 Ford cab right there. And here's a Ford, like a 46 to 8 style Ford. Sedan. A lot of parts laying around. There's a GMC hood there. Another old bus over that way. So we're going to head up this first aisle, just like I say, so we can 
keep somewhat organized with our walking here. There's a Kaiser. Kaiser sedan. This looks like a Plymouth over here, probably a 30, 35 Plymouth, I think. This one's a four-door sedan. Still got a lot of parts in there. Somebody's pulled the, well, I guess it's even got the windshield garnishes in there. So it's, that one's still got a lot of good parts. Got the rear end knocked in a little bit, but a great donor car there. Nice solid doors on it. Well, over here we got another Ford truck here. Big F500 or 600 probably. Here's a Chevy, like a 42 to 46 style Chevy. Another big old grain truck. You see a lot of old grain trucks. This is farm country down here, so there's lots of old farm trucks. Got another Ford cab in the back there. There's a Chevy truck, advanced design. Another one here that somebody cut the rear. I'm guessing that one was probably a five window cab and it donated the, the back of the cab. Nebraska truck on the license plate. Kind of a cool artillery wheel on the back end of it there. That might be worthwhile. There's another old bus there. That's a 60s one. You can tell by the cowl there. It was GM. Either Chevy or GMC on that one. Here's an old Ford truck here, a 46 or 7. Boy, look how clean the doors are on that one. Nice grill on that, too. That's a nice old truck, really. Sorry about the grass noise. I'm not sure how that's going to come out in the video, but there's not much you can do about that in a place that has... A lot of grass like this, you know, we get that in our own place. There's a lot of crunching and stuff, but hopefully it hopefully it doesn't show up too much in the recording. And we got an old Jeep, Willie's Jeep wagon here, station wagon. That one's a four-wheel drive. Still got the front axle in there. Just needs a hood, some wheels. There's a Camaro here. There's another Ford. This one's an F350. So I believe that, I'm not sure if that uses the pickup fenders. Those look like the bigger truck fenders, but I'm not positive. That one's an F350. Here's another Ford cab here. This I believe will fit like a 57 to 60. Not a bad looking cab right there. Here's a square body. Got the back end full of Wood there, scrap wood in the back, but that's a square body missing the rear axle. Chevy. There is just, it's kind of overwhelming here. I mean, there's just piles and piles of stuff here. This one looks like GM probably. I think that might be a 36 Chevy two-door. Could be wrong by a year or two on a couple of these. So if you... If you know what things are and I mislabeled them or I didn't know what they were or something, please comment on the video. Uh, or just comment to say you enjoyed the video or, you know, do this next time, do that next time, whatever. Give us some comments, some feedback. Here's a 36 Ford two-door sedan here. Got the, still got the waterfall on the dash there. That one's a humpback on there. Here's another Ford here. This one's cut, cut into a pickup. I think that may be a Studebaker bed on the back. I'm not positive. This one's another 36 looks like. I don't know if that was a 
That might have been a two door as well that they cut off. So we've got the dash in there. There's a Mercury Monterey here. That one's a two door hardtop. Pretty wild car. Look at the back end of these things. I mean, that's a huge bumper. You wouldn't want to rear end that if you're driving something else. This one looks like an AMC Javelin, 71 to four style. I had one of these when I was a teenager. AMX was the model I had, the sporty model. There's a 58 or nine Ford there. That one's a two door post. That one's a good solid car right there. That's a good project right there for somebody. Here's another, looks like a Chevy here, probably a 36 Chevy two door. Just seas of stuff here. It'll take us a while to get through here. And like I say, we won't show it all, but we'll show a lot of it. I think that one may be a Buick, definitely GM. There's an older car here. I think that's a Studebaker right there. Four-door sedan. Got another cowl in the back here. I guess it's another Studebaker cowl in the back. <clears throat> Got remnants of a Model A here, 28.9 Model A. And a Chevy. This one looks like a Chevy here. 30. Let's see, is it a 31 maybe? 31 or two, I would guess. Four door. Kind of pulled apart. Here's a little Ford pickup here. Custom cab. Looks like it was a long box, but it's an F100. Another Ford sedan body here. And looks like a GM pickup box there. Chevy or GMC. That one's a short box chassis. Could put a cab on there and have a pickup. Then we got another uh, Ford there, 46 to 8 style Ford two door. Here's another Chevy here, looks like a 36 as well. This one looks like a Bonnie and Clyde special. Look at the bullet holes in the back end of it there. That happens out here. You get a lot of you know, cows rubbing on stuff, making dents, or people shooting stuff up, but they just don't rust. It's just amazing. Look at this Ford. I mean, it's got like no rust on it. This one's a 41. Two-door sedan. But I don't think, I don't know if I see any rust on it. pair of Ford doors back here. Bump side doors. These pickups are really caught on the bump sides and the dent sides. Nice pair of doors there. Anyway, we'll catch up on the next aisle here. Got a Ford van there. A Dodge motorhome here at the back end of it. The wind must have ripped that one apart. I just kind of wanted to check out this. This looks like it was a Ford truck grill on the front at one point. I don't know if that's a bookmobile or, or a motorhome or what that is, but that's pretty wild. That would make a cool custom rig for somebody. And here is another Ford school bus, 60s one. It's kind of interesting. Front end of a Chevy van here. The Studebaker box. Basically, with some of these uh, salvage yard videos that we're doing, here's another Studebaker here, 41 to 6 style. Um, we're trying to preserve the history, you know, give a, a video history of this stuff because a lot of these places are like this now, but who knows what'll be around in another 20 years or whatever. So it'll give a good history of things over time, you know. I always like having pictures of, of our stuff and things that have come and gone and stuff like that. Here's a fuel tank truck. Looks like a 40, 41, maybe Ford truck. 
This one got bumped in the front there. Got a good solid cab in that fuel tank, it's pretty cool. All kinds of uh, 80s and 90s stuff here too. We're not gonna have the time to go through all those, but if you're looking for something, give this guy a, a ring, contact him or whatever, because he's got all kinds of stuff. Look at this little Datsun pickup as an example. When's the last time you saw a Datsun that was that solid? Just a good solid little pickup, hardly any rust in that. Just one little spot on the rear fender there getting some pitting. That's what you get down here. It's hard to explain to people that haven't been here before. It's just so dry and the sand, I don't know if I can, well I'll show you on one of the other aisles, the sandy stuff coming up through the ground. It just allows the water to just escape right into the ground and it doesn't sit around so you don't get all that corrosion you get on stuff normally. A couple square body beds here. Yeah, looks like we got a, a Chrysler Newport there. And that one's a two-door hardtop. That's a cool car right there. That'll make a fun one to build. Got a Mercury here. Missing the hood, four-door. Here's a little Chevy here. That one's a four-door, Bel Air. Couple more Chevys here. Four-door, and let's see what this one is. This one's a two-door. This one's a fastback. It's got some denting on that quarter, but that's a two-door fastback model. Look here, still got even some of the bumper tips on there. Those are hard to come by. There's a little Ford wagon body here. Just seeing if the bumper tips are on the back of this Chevy or not. Nope, just the front ones. But see, that's the fastback version. And here's another Chrysler. That's a wild one, huh? That one's a four-door sedan. No, it's a four-door hardtop, actually. No posts there. Look at the big fins on that. Jump around the back and show you. Oh boy, this one brings back memories. My parents had a, a Chrysler like that with that same gold color there. See the fins on that? That's wild. Here's the Ford. Now that's a good thing right there. If you've got a four-door sedan, this can turn it into a four-door ranch wagon, make it a lot more valuable. And that body's rock solid. You bolt that right on there if you've got a sedan and have something a little better. Oh, there goes a big toad. Two toads, another one there. Here's another 56 Ford truck cab there. Got a couple GMs, a Chevy and a GMC here. That one's got the V8, it says on the fender. Nice cab on that one. A little rust on the bottom of the doors, but that's a good cab. Another Ford car here, four door. And a Chevy pickup here. It's another one of the 42, 46 style. Got a Pontiac back in there, jacked up on blocks. Oh, and look at this little Ford. This is a 48 to 50 Ford. I don't know if it was an F1 or if it was a longer box. Looks like it might have just been an F1 short box. But anyway, it's got a little utility bed on it. That's kind of nice. That'd be a fun shop truck for somebody to build right there. That's an old school utility body right there. I like that. I think it is just an F1 short box. I'm not sure. Well, you can see on that side of the aisle, we've got a couple Fords here. And then down that way is a Chevy. 50, looks like a 58 or nine. I think that's a 59, that one. Got another Chevy here. This one's a four-door. Looks like something's been living under there, digging a hole under there. That's an Impala right there. Good parts car for somebody. And a Chevy truck. Look at the Beetles over there. We'll catch those in the next aisle. A couple Volkswagen Beetles. A 
There's that back end of one of the buses there. There's another Ford truck cab up in the back of that Chevy there. Just sees the stuff everywhere you look. That's why we're not gonna be able to catch them all, but we're gonna do the best we can. Here's a Thunderbird, another little Chevy four-door here. And that one's a, a Falcon on the end there. Well, we got a nice looking 58 or nine Ford car here. Another Chevy. And looks like a couple more shoe boxes. This one's a 1950 four-door. There's another one there. I think that one may be a 51. And we got another Ford custom line here. Big pile of doors there, 55 and 6 doors too, Ford stuff. There's another neat little bus over there, that white one. That almost looks like it had a Dodge front end on it. We'll probably jump over that way. Let's see, we'll get up by those Volkswagen Beetles. Yeah, this one had a, uh, you can tell by the cowl lights and the cowl on there, that was a, a 41 to 47 style Dodge. It got a bus body on it. And look at all the neat little uh, windows up top. You know, it's got the windows you can open, but then there's a second row. I'm not sure which bus company made that, but that's a cool old bus right there. See if I can catch around the other side. Maybe there'll be a emblem or something on it to see who made that. Looks like somebody might have been using it to live in as a motorhome or something. Give you a little view of the scenery out here. Wide open out this way. There's the inside of it. I don't see the, the maker on it, but you can see the Dodge Dash right there. And look at the rear view mirror up on there. Notice the Chevy gauge is way over there. Somebody added them on way over to the other side. Even the little peep windows up in the front here too. Pretty cool. Quite a place. Don't know why it took me so long to get down here, but it's got some really cool stuff. There's a Pontiac there. Well, we got a little station wagon here. This one's a Mercury. Shouldn't say little, those are big wagons. Oh wow, check this station wagon out here. Mopar, that's really cool right there. Got the fender off on this side. Little rust in the rockers, bottom of the quarters, but that's a cool, cool wagon right there. I look around here and I just wonder where to go next. I mean, you can just turn in every direction here. I'm gonna have to get my water though. It's supposed to be up in the middle 90s today, so it's a little, little toasty out here. Another Ford there. This one's a four-door. Got a hole broken out windshield, but this is a uh, 88 Dynamic Oldsmobile. A GM at its finest right there. And we got a Pontiac Bonneville right next to it, a four-door one, four-door hardtop. And another Oldsmobile here. Right there, that one's a two-door hardtop. Then we got a Chevy Viking truck there. Looks like somebody grabbed the hood. It probably was a 
60 or 61, the tall hoods, so it's pretty popular. Got a Ford pickup there. A couple cars here, but I'm gonna jump over to these Volkswagens. People are always asking for Beetles in the videos. Here's a Volkswagen, two Volkswagen Beetles here. That one and that one. This one looks like an Oldsmobile, had the nose cut off of it. Another Olds here. This one's a two-door hardtop right there. Another one over there, four-door sedan. Here's like a, I think this is maybe an early series 55 advanced design Chevy. This one's a short box chassis. This needs a bed and some front fenders and grill. Looks like maybe somebody was starting to fix it up at one point. They painted the frame black and stuff. A nice solid cab on that. That would make a worthwhile pickup for somebody. Actually, here's maybe one of the fenders off it right here. Unless, no, maybe that's a big truck fender, I'm not sure. Looks like maybe that's a big truck fender. Anyway, we'll jump over here a little bit further. Now we're gonna work our way up that aisle. I don't know if you can even see the end of that aisle on the video. Way down there, that's gotta be like a quarter mile. Just solid uh, 70s and 80s pickups mostly. 60s, 70s and 80s, I guess. Square body here. Here's a Dodge with the alligator hood and that the alligator looks like it broke its jaw there. The wind sucked that hood right up. I really like those pickups, so those Dodge pickups like that. Great, great lines to them. Oh, look at the square body uh, dually bed there. Have a nice piece. Got a couple Fords over there. There's a light blue dent side pickup there. Somebody lost their teddy bear right there. Another bump side there, not too bad a shape. There's a Chevy here. Dodge pickup there. There's some parts in the back, I'll check those out. Well, here's the uh, dent side from the other aisle we were looking at. Here's a, a Dodge, this looks like a 72 up style. There's another dent side Ford over there. But we're going to keep going down this aisle. This is a GMC. We'll kind of catch the other side here and there because I'm not going to be able to walk all of that. Those are mostly square body Chevys down there, Chevy GMCs. Here's another Dodge here, looks like a 77 or 8. Square body Suburban Ford pickup. There's a few Chevys in a row here. Oh, that one's a GMC actually. Another one here. These are both swept side or uh, smooth side beds. That one's a Chevrolet. No step sides in that aisle. Another Chevy. A couple square bodies here. This is a later one. This looks like probably an older one. Looks like a big block Chevy engine right there from the looks of it. Sitting right out in the weather, it's on an engine stand. Another Apache there. Another square body. I mean, if you're looking for square body stuff, this place is just loaded. Loaded with square body stuff. Another long box there. Be a good place to come get a whole load of pickup beds, haul them back east. This is a good solid pickup here. Somebody took the front off it. Another Chevy. These are 
Chevy, Chevy, Chevy right here. A couple more square bodies. Bird just flew up out of the weeds there. Just kind of pan this side again. A couple later ones and there is one more white square body here. This is kind of the pickup aisle right here. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, you name it. Another dent side there. Look at the International in behind there. That's a cool truck back there. So like I mentioned earlier, you know, if you need this guy's information, get a hold of us, message us or whatever, and we can uh, get you his information to contact him. Here's a Willie's Jeep pickup. Another square body that got wrecked there. Even these ones that are wrecked though, look at that nice front fender on there. The pickup bed, cab is wrecked. That one was a GMC. Here's the Dodge had the roof cut off. That's probably a common thing. These Dodges, I love these Dodge trucks, but they do have a rust problem up in the roof. So that's probably what that was, a donor. There's another older Dodge here. A couple more Chevys here. Just a sea of these Chevy square bodies, Fords, Dodges, whatever, you name it. Is an international travel all. A couple Dodges on this side. Here's a short box one right here. Nice little short box Dodge there. There's a long box over there on the other side of the aisle. We're still, you know, I showed you this aisle from the end. Well, there's that end. I'll kind of pan around here and show you this end. When we started this aisle, it was way down by that tree down there. So we're about halfway up this one aisle. And there are several aisles as well as the north and south sections here. So bear with us, lots of stuff to see. So this one was a power wagon. Somebody took the front axle out. There's one with a crew cab. Another Dodge here. This is an F1 pickup right here. Nice clean cab on that. Somebody snagged the steering column out of it already. But a clean cab, that's right up my alley there. I'd like to have that. We deal in a lot of cabs, so if you, you know, if you're needing truck parts, mostly 1930s to 60s stuff, we get them all the time. We send stuff all over the country, the smaller pieces and parts. If you're looking for bigger stuff, cabs and stuff, you'll have to come get it. But you can always contact us on that stuff. We're just walking down this two-laner here, showing you all these. I don't think I need to describe them all because there's just so many of them here, I'd probably lose my voice. There's an older Dodge Air, 75 or 6, I would say. I had one of those back in school too. I drove it about the same color as that one even. A couple more Chevys. This one is a long box step side. That's the GMC with the tall hood. Two wheel drive, three quarter ton. More square bodies. Just kind of pan around here. I'm just wondering if this one this one aisle ever ends here. I forgot to get my water, so I'm gonna have to get back to the pickup, but that's at the end of the aisle we just came from. There's a uh, unibody Ford there, long box one. Another green Dodge over there. Here's a little international two wheel drive. If you're wondering what that noise is, I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not, but there are a lot of grasshoppers ju jumping and flying. You can hear their wings flapping. Another dent side.
There's another unibody Ford there. Looks like that one was sold right new in Alliance here. Got the tag on the cowl. Got a call I had to answer there, but anyway, uh, talked about this one being sold in Alliance. There it is, right there. Clover Jones. And that thing is solid too. Just needs a front fender, a hood, and a tailgate from the looks of it. Wheel rut and walk along here. International B Series, B110, so that's a half ton. Here's a four wheel drive international here, a little flatbed truck. Here's an S120 international. Another bump side Ranger XLT, the fancy model there. A couple more Chevys here on the end. This one here is a 3600, so this is a three quarter ton. You've got a good solid nose on that. Missing the doors. Still got, still got some good parts on that one. Need a, another advanced design there. That looks like another three quarter ton. Let's see if we can walk in between them here. I don't know what the snake situation is here, so I always be wary out this way. Looks like a Chevy grill in the back there and a Chevy door. Got an old Ford hood in here for like a 40 Ford car. It's a car hood right there. And you got a GMC pickup box and hood there. Another old Ford dump truck there. Looks like a 46 or so. Look at the Scooby van there. We're going to step over there and we'll check it out. Well, here's a Scooby, what I call a Scooby van. Chevy van right there. That's a long body one too. A couple Mopars over here. One's a wagon, one's a four door. Little Plymouth wagon there. That's pretty cool. You don't see too many of those around anymore. That one got wrecked in the front. There's an El Camino. There's a little Ford Courier. You don't see too many of those around anymore there either. Good solid one too. Quite a few smaller Japanese pickups here. There's a GMC that somebody cut the roof off of. Another Chevy over there. Well, Chevy, a Chevy, and a Ford. Ford's right next to the tree there. Ford looks like a 59 or 60. I'm just checking out this GMC deal here. I wouldn't mind having that passenger door right there. Got an old boom truck here, Ford. See, this is kind of the sandy stuff I was talking about. These are the sand hills, the yellow sand. It's all rolling hills down here. They're very sandy. Enables the moisture to go right out and not rot the cabs out or, or bodies, whatever you're dealing with. So here's another Dodge. We're kind of looking through, that's the north side over there. So we're gonna get over there eventually, but we still got a long ways to go out here. Like some parts of a tractor there. I'm not sure if that's a Jeep. That might be a Jeep chassis. Got a grill guard on it. Got to kind of watch when you're walking because it, uh, you can accidentally step in a hole because I'm looking at the camera, not looking at my feet. There's a Ford pickup box with the spare tire thing on the side. 53 up. Here's a little short box, square body one, Ford. This is like a 57 to early 60s. Chevy nose all crunched up there. There's a Chevy five window cab that looks like it was in a fire. Another old wrecker or boom truck of some sort here, Ford. This one's an F600. 
I took the fenders off, but got the grill behind there and stuff. Still in pretty good shape. Got a nice hood on it. Another Chevy back there, advanced design. We'll pan over to this side here. See what these are. A couple more Ford trucks here. The red one's a 56. The other, the blue one here is a 53 to 5 style. That's a 56 right there. Here's a big, looks like a one-ton Chevy panel maybe. Yeah, it looks like a one-ton, but looks like somebody cut a hole in the side and then filled it back in with galvanized metal. Couple of vans in the back there. Got a fleet side Chevy pickup here. We'll check this out. Looks like a 58 or 9. The long box fleet side right there. Small rear window. This is an offender. A couple of Ford vans here. It's an older one there, the yellow one. Look at this one here. Boundary Waters Edition, it says on the bottom panel there. It's real pink salmon color. Mini vans, look at the Ford Econoline there. That's pretty cool. That looks like that was a style and rig back in the 70s. Got a fancy paint job, chrome roof rack on there. Got the aluminum grill. Looks like they might have hit a deer or something with it years ago. There's another one there too, that blue one. Another early Econoline. Here's another Chevy truck. This one's a 46 or so. Still got a lot of good parts on this one. Somebody grab the windshield frame. All kinds of hubcaps in there. There's a header panel laying there. This looks like Van Central here. I mean, there is Van, if you like vans, this is Van City right here. Dodges, Ford, Chevy, GMC, you name it. Minivans, full size vans. Even the little, look at the Dodge minivan with no windows in it there, a little work van, work minivan. There's a real long, I don't know if that's a sportsman or fancier model. Look at this Ford van here. Somebody, I don't know what they did to the top of it. It's got a, maybe it's a camper van and it has a pop up top. It's got like a fiberglass flat top on it, looks like. Just seas of stuff here. I mean, it's you're really hard to get a, a feel for this. We'll do a drone footage. Matter of fact, we'll do the drone footage right now. So as you're watching this drone footage, just look at the amounts. I don't know if you can count them, but there's thousands of vehicles here. So uh, check them all out. We're gonna do walk through the best we can, but it's just a little time to give you some drone footage to show you kind of the scale of the place. It's more to give you the scale than anything because you can't really see what the vehicles are in the drone footage, but uh, like I say, this is in Alliance, Nebraska. It's in the Sand Hills, Western Nebraska. Oh, about halfway up the state probably in the Western part. And uh, we can get you the guys information if you need it. Well, we'll start over here, got another Mercury there. And we got a, looks like a Plymouth Fastback there. Probably a 1950 or so, two-door fastback. So we came down this aisle to the right there. This aisle here you can see is full of more minivans and full-size vans. And this aisle, let's see what's up this aisle here. Well, there's quite a few smaller pickups and stuff up here. We'll walk up this aisle a little bit. There's some to the left there, but not too many. Looks like another courier over there maybe and a scout. Kind of jump up this aisle a little ways here, show you some of these other ones. Another Impala there. There's a Mazda pickup. 
you know, something like this might not look like it's in the greatest condition, but look at the rust factor. It's a Mazda. No rust. Usually you don't hear those two same things in one sentence. See quite a few Bronco 2s around. There's one over there. There's another Mazda there, the white one. Check out some of these because I was mentioning some of these small Japanese pickups. There's another Mopar Valari wagon there. There's a long bed Toyota. That's kind of funny. I don't know if I've ever seen a long bed one, but there it is. A little Toyota long bed. Here's a little Chevy. Japanese version. Chevy Love or whatever it is there. There's a Charger Daytona. Oh, we got a couple rancheros here. And this body, this, uh, sorry, this body, this aisle here is just full of more, mostly pickups to the right and smaller pickups or cars to the left. So we'll do a quick walk down there because I got to get down to my water here before I pass out. I don't want to keep whipping back and forth with the camera there to make everybody seasick, so I'm trying to keep it on one side here. But we might show you a couple things on the other side as we go. These are some uh, unibody Ford pickups here. That one's got some trim down the side of it. Must have been a fancier model. There's another one. This looks like a Dave Geisler special here. Looks like you just parked in here and, and left it. Anybody that knows Dave will recognize he used to drive one of those all the time. Love that little Ford car. Here's a little Scout. Scout 2. Look at these Ford pickups. I mean, it, it seems like there's just an endless pile of them. It's insane. Those are all bump sides. And then over here we got a couple AMC wagons here. And a little Zuzu pickup. Sorry for the bumpy videoing here, but this is some rough terrain, a Zuzu pup. Looks like an F2 right there, 48 to 50 style. Another Ford, 48 to 50. Here's a little Dodge Japanese pickup there. A little Power Ram, 4x4. Four four. A Ranger. Mazdas, Toyotas, you name it. All kinds of those little Japanese pickups here. Most of the places we go, you don't see very many of those. So Now that one is a three-quarter ton frame, but it's a 51 or two cab with the wide, bigger rear window than the 48 to 50, let's put it that way. There's an international with a grill guard on it. Two grill guards, actually. That's a small short box. It's a 100. That's a worthwhile pickup there. Just needs a hood.
all kinds of Fords here. We'll jump to this side because that side is mostly dent side Ford pickups, which you kind of get the idea after a few. Jeep Comanche pickup. And it looks like an Isuzu Trooper there. I think Trooper 2. A little Blazer, another Jeep, a little S10, a couple more Jeeps up there. So this place has quite a mix. I mean, there isn't just Ford and Chevy. There's all kinds of different makes and all kinds of different years. Just walking down this row, almost back to the pickup where I can grab my water. Datsun and Mazda. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna jump over to the pickup, which is right near that tree there grab a drink. There's a little AMC Matador right there. Got a Bonneville, a Chevy there. And we got a Catalina over there. There's a little Buick Corridor. And a little Honda Civic here. This one's kind of beat up in the front. Pretty solid though, makes somebody a good parts car. See what these are across the aisle here. Got another bed on the ground here, looks like it might be a Studebaker. Another 46 to 8 Ford car there. 53 to 5 Ford truck cab in the back there. Let's see if we can get back there and check it out. Not too bad a shape, just missing the missing a door. There's a GM body shell here. Ford right there, two door hard top. Corvair, okay, Corvair Coupe. It's like a Nova here. This is a hatchback one. Well, let's see, which way should we go? This is the dilemma here, I'll show you. I don't know if I can get up high there. And you all, you could see it in the drone footage we had, but just, an insane amount of stuff here. Little Fairlane 500. There's a GM car here. Looks like a 1939 or so. This one's an Oldsmobile. I would guess a 39. Here's what you can tell by the body tag on them here. Let's see what it has on it. Yep, see the 39 right on there. Most of the GM stuff back in those years, you can tell pretty quick just by the body tag. But I don't know that I've seen too many 39 Olds, so I didn't recognize it right off the bat. I don't see them very often. Here's a Willys. Two-door, Mustang, another Corvair there, little Plymouth Savoy, 53, 4, somewhere in there. Well, we got quite a few Fords over on this back aisle here. Fifty-five and sixes, fifty-two to fours, mostly in that area. Era, two door, four door. Oh, well, this one's not a Ford here. This is a Dodge Coronet. There's a two door post. Boy, that body is solid on that one. Needs a front clip, but that's a good solid body. Even got some VWs here, VW wagon.
I got some more Pontiacs here. A couple big body Pontiacs. That one's the executive model right there. And there's a Catalina. Looks like a little Mopar body here, probably a Plymouth, 30s. 30s Plymouth. I don't know if that's a, maybe a 37, maybe. Look at the little stubby taillights there. Another big Pontiac Bonneville there. We'll jump over onto this side here. Another little wagon here. Look at this Mercury here, Monterey. It's pretty wild. Look at the, the back end of these. Really wild looking taillight arrangement, back end. Here's another Ford Fairlane. We'll get back over to that older Ford aisle over that way. We're just catching a few in the middle here. There's an old Buick sedan. Well, a lot of this aisle over here is Ford, but there is a mix. This looks like a 57 Chevy four-door hardtop. Here's a Willys four-door. Oh, here's one for my dad. I'll have to show him this. It's a Plymouth Suburban. He really likes those. It's an all-steel Suburban. Looks like it must have laid on its side at one point. Got some dents in the top. And this side is a little thin on the door and stuff. Let's see what the other side looks like. Yep, this side's good and solid. This is probably the side that was facing up. That would have some good parts on it, though. There's some more Fords. That one was a donor for something. Ford wagon there. The Ford or. There's another wagon, four-door wagon there. Looks like a 58 or nine. Well, we'll get up this aisle a little further here. Catch this side a little bit. Dodge, I don't know if that's an Omni maybe. A couple of them there. A little Pontiac Grand Dam. Over on this side we got a Mercury two-door hardtop there. The roof is kind of bashed in on that one. Another little Chrys Chrysler car there. That one says turbo on the side. Another wagon. That one's a little worse for the wear. There's a Mercury Monterey here, two-door hardtop. Another big Mercury. Anyway, if you like these kinds of videos, you know, we do a lot of gar or, uh, junkyard walk-arounds, salvage yard walk-arounds, and uh, we also do swap meets and auctions and just ranch finds and basically anything automotive. There's a 58 Biscayne there. But it doesn't only have to be automotive. We're getting into doing antique shows and, you know, we're into old bikes and old signs and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to mix it up some here and there. And we've had good response to the ones we've done so far. So, you know, stay tuned. We got lots of stuff planned for the next few months. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost a dime. It's free. And if you like to support people like us, this is the way to do it. You know, we, we're out here working every day trying to get these videos. We also go around, you know, buying parts or antiques or whatever, try to make a buck. We got six kids, so one way to support is just to give us a thumbs up, give us a comment, 
you know, I see a lot of people watch the videos, but if you all you got to do is comment on it. That's not just take you a few seconds out of your day, and it would support us, which in turn helps us do a lot more of these videos, and it will help everybody. You know, you'll get to see more, and we'll get the video more. So please, please do that, and we'll keep going here down the aisle. Some more Fords and Mercury's here. Mercury two-door post. Kind of looking, gonna pan over this way a little bit. There's a lot more 80s and 90s stuff here. We just won't be able to walk through them all. But uh, I mean, this would take days to cover every vehicle here. It's a really cool place. So if you get out to Nebraska, Check it out, Alliance, Nebraska. Most of this stuff looks like, uh, there's a few back in the 30s, seen a couple 20s, but mostly 40s through 80s. You know, heavy, heavy in the 50s and 60s and 70s on stuff. A little Buick two-door there. Anytime you want to see something, you know, and I'm walking by it too fast, all you got to do is press pause and check it out. Maybe I didn't say what it was or, or walk by it too quickly or whatever. I'm going to jump onto this side here. Check out some of this GM stuff over here. Well, there's a Toyota mixed in there. Got a couple Chryslers down there, but there's quite a few Camaros down through here. Those are really gonna catch on in the next few years. You know, they were popular when I was a teenager. Usually all those things kind of come around. Got a couple Mustangs there. Here's a big estate wagon. Chevrolet with the clamshell back. Those are real popular for Derbian. Look at the uh, minivan there with a high top on it. Ooh, I accidentally found a shade tree here. Oops, popped out of it pretty quick. Anyway, we've got a Buick over there. Got a Ford Galaxy here, and another Buick there, a Sentry. That one's a four-door hardtop right there. It's kind of panning around. I hope it doesn't go back and forth too quick on you, but there's a Supra there, a white one. There's another little Chevy, two-door. Another Buick there. Couple Buicks here, there's a big wagon. Getting some more GM stuff up this way. Get over to this side here. Looks like a Chrysler, I think, maybe 53 or four Chrysler. Got an international truck in there behind it. It's hard to catch these on both sides of the aisle, and I don't really want to... I'll be passing out if I go up both sides of the aisle, so we're just going to have to do what we can here. A little Dodge Polara. Another little Plymouth there. Looks like a 55, maybe. There's a Newport, so we're getting into some Chrysler stuff there. Got a few Chryslers lined up, Mopars. Here's a Buick. This looks like an Olds, probably. Yep, that one's an Olds. Two-door hardtop. There's a Chrysler two-door hardtop right there. Look at the 
Chevy Caprice there with the emergency, it's the Alliance uh, Police Department right there. I don't know if you can see it, I'll step up a little closer, but that's the Alliance cop car. That's where they retired that one to. And you can see there's all kinds of GM, it looks like a lot of Buicks, Chevys down this aisle. Big body cars, there's wagons, sedans, you name it. All kinds of stuff down and through there. Now the Caprice there, that's one of the ones with the funky rear window on it. Here's a Cadillac, big old caddy. Here's a Packard Clipper that was that was clipped. Somebody uh, got the back end and made a pickup out of it. Another thing that helps a channel like ours here is just get involved. You know, give us some feedback on this. Tell them, tell us what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. You know, name some of the cars. Pick out what you'd like. You know, if there was one of these cars you'd like to restore, or if you could get it home, which one would it be? All this interaction helps. There's a little Buick right here. Another big wagon here, a state wagon. Oh, and look on this side. You don't see too many of these. I had one of these when I was younger. That's an AMC Ambassador station wagon right there. I had that back in high school. There's a 56 Chevy there, four door. Looks like a Studebaker in behind it there. Studebaker car. And this here, I'm gonna go back to this. This road right here goes to the north side. So right now, We've kind of roughly done the south side. Uh, I'll kind of get over here a little bit. We've done quite a bit of the south side. I mean, there's, like I say, there's no way that I can catch it all, but uh, we've gotten a lot of it. But there's literally thousands of vehicles here. I'm just gonna get up on something here and kind of show you a little bit. Gonna show you around the place. And over there is the north side. So we're gonna jump over there now. Well, on my way back to the truck here, to go up to the north side, I just saw some more older ones here, so we'll catch them. Got a Bel Air here. Got a big old Buick here. That one's a four door. Look at the trim on the back end of that thing. That's a monster. Little Ford uh, two door hard top there. Edsel, Edsel station wagon there. If you need station wagon trim or something, I don't know. That frame looks like it might be bent up or something in the front. The nose is not. The nose is not arched. <laughs> There's a tongue twister. The nose is arched up. But anyway, uh, pretty rare to find the trim rear door. Rear glass looks good in the rear gate. So if you got an Edsel wagon right there. Jump ahead to a few more of these here. Got some more Fords here, early, early 60s. Quite a few of them here, it looks like. Just figured I'd show you a few of these because we didn't catch these when we came up the aisle. There's a pretty clean Galaxy right there. There's a Nash trunk lid laying on the hood of that one. 46 or so Nash trunk lid. A little Plymouth here. Four door Plymouth. Another Ford Galaxy. There's another Plymouth, maybe a 56 or so. Got the tail fin on it there. 
and I'm just gonna pan around the end of them there. There you go, so our pickup's over here. So I'm gonna jump in it and I'm gonna drive up to the front section, which is the north section. We're way out at the back part of the yard here, so we'll get up towards the front more. Well, we're way out front here by the road. You'll probably hear a few cars buzzing by because there's pretty well-traveled road out here out front. But most of the stuff is pushed down towards the back. Anyway, there's a 39 Plymouth over there. Just gonna scan a few of these in the front. It's kind of cleaned out right out by the road here a little bit, but we get a lot more as we walk back here. There's a few over there, but I'm gonna show you this. Uh, there's a Buick, two door sedan there. And looks like we got a couple Chevys here. Maybe a 55, two door post right on the right. Get over to the side of it here a little bit. Yeah, Chevy two-door post there. Here's a 59 Chevy truck. This in the driver's door. Not sure if that's, I guess the driver's door is back here. It's one door laying on the ground there, or laying on the back of the frame, I should say. It's a little dented up, not too horrible. Got a Ford van here. You gotta jump around the back of it. There's the older style Ford van. Look at that one with the funny oval shaped window in the back there. Anyway, there's the Ford van. Looks like a Granada or something on the bottom there. And we got a Plymouth Savoy up on top. Looks like a few things have moved out of here recently. See, here's that sand I'm talking about. See how sandy that is? Look at it, this blows. That's what's under the ground right there. It's all sandy. Well, we're gonna step back in here to the main portion here. Look at the old shorty bus over this way. That's a real short one, advanced design Chevy. Somebody's got their firewood. Here's a slant six. That's a Dodge pickup chassis. Nice Dodge bed on there. And a uh, slant six engine. This one's a Ford, 51 or two. Ford bus. See what's inside there, if anything. Full of motor parts mostly. Don't see anything I need in there too bad, but mostly motor parts. We are buying a few things here. Uh, picked out a few parts. I only brought my pickup today. I did not bring a trailer. So if I find any uh, bigger stuff I want, I'm gonna have to come back. But I will show you what I picked up here at the end of the video. Did pick up a few things. This is wild. This is a four-door, probably a four-door wagon, I'm guessing. Could have been a four-door sedan, I'm not sure. It's a Pontiac Catalina, and it's cut into an El Camino style. So here's the Pontiac nose, and it's cut into an El Camino style pickup truck. That would be a fun vehicle to mess with right there. Even got a homemade tailgate on it. A little Chevy body here, four door. Lots of bullet holes in that one. Still got the dash laying down there. Dash is hanging down in there. Much of the garnishes, I guess, still got the rear window garnish, or not the rear window, but the rear quarter window garnishes still on there. Those are good item. Got a Ford Fairlane there. That one's a two-door hardtop. Look at the old combine here. There's a Ford bed there, 80s one. Looks like a short bed. 57 Ford sedan there. There's a bullet nose Studebaker.
Looks like a little Nova. Got a Ford hood laying on it. There's another Granada, then a white Impala. Look at all the Ford vans over there. A lot of early Ford vans in that aisle. Yeah, I never can get, a, get used to the sand down here. These are the sand hills and this uh, sand, I, the first time I ever come down this way, you know, being from New Hampshire originally, I drove out on a country road and it felt like you're driving onto Daytona Beach. It was all soft feeling and kind of slows you down as you're driving. Just kind of a, a weird feeling to drive on the sand. It feels like you're on a beach, but really you're out in the prairie. The Chevy two-door there. The Monte Carlo next to it. There's another little wagon here. This one looks like a Mercury Comet, I think. Somebody cut the nose off it. There's a Chevy sedan body back in there. Another 58 or 9 Ford car. Here's a Chevy here. Looks like a 39 or 40 maybe. Maybe a 39 Chevy pickup. Let's see what the dash is. Yep, it's got the flat dash, so that's a 1939. And the 39 has wider rear fenders, believe it or not. It's kind of weird. Got a little bit narrower bed, so it's got wider rear fenders. I didn't really know that until fairly recently. Another Ford two-door post there. We'll jump up a little bit here. Well, it looks like we got a cut-off El Camino right here. Somebody cut the top right off it. Another El Camino over in there. And I got a Chevy two-door car there. 49, 50, somewhere in there. Here's another Ford on the bottom here. Another Chevy. Looks like it might be an MG or some sort of British car there. Another Ford here, 55 or 6, two-door hardtop on that one. There's a convertible there, looks like a Mercury convertible. We'll jump over there in a second, I'm just painting around this side. It looks like a Malibu, I think, up on top there. Another Ford F500 here. 53 to 5 style. There's an Opal. A little Opal two door car there. Got quite a few foreign cars here. I'm kind of surprised how many foreign cars there are. This looks like a Mercury back end of it. There's the other Mercury convertible there. There's another Mercury here. Two more Mercuries. Got quite a few of Monterey's here. A couple ranch arrows hidden here under the tree. This is a spot I should have parked over here under this tree. I was looking for a shade spot. Couldn't find one very well. This is a good spot right here. This looks like the tire pile. Yeah, all kinds of tires and wheels. I get a lot of wheels. I do well with wheels, but they gotta be specific ones. Got a falcon, a couple falcons there. Let's get on the back side of this row if we can. Another Chevy here. This looks like a Mopar two-door hardtop, probably a Chrysler or DeSoto, I'm guessing. There's a Chevy there, 63 Biscayne. Really getting dried out here. I'm trying to drink as much water as possible, but it's a little breezy and hot and sunny, so it dries you out quick. Uh, 
Well, there's a pile of aluminum here. Looks like radiators and all kinds of stuff. There's a Ford 53 or so car there. Another big Ford wagon back in there. And we got a Chevy and a yellow Pontiac over that way. We'll kind of zoom over this way here, see what we can find. I'll just kind of go down this side of the aisle. There's a Pontiac, white one. I don't know what this little red car is in behind here. Subaru. Little Subaru four-wheel drive. And we got a Chevy. Got a Ford in behind it there. Looks like another Mercury two-door hardtop up on top over there. And Ford wagon under it. Here's a Pontiac. These are kind of cool. This one's a four-door hardtop, but look at the tail fins back there. Pretty wild. There's a Plymouth here. Looks like probably a 41 or so. Plymouth. Some more Falcons. I've seen quite a few Falcons around here. One's a Ranchero there, missing the front. Oh, over there you got an old trailer house, and in front of it looks like another Mercury two-door hardtop, 55 or 6, somewhere in there. Looks like... That's the area we were in earlier, back there. There's a Chevy bed. I wanted to check out one school bus in behind these trees, so we'll do that at some point here. But I'll walk around this way. There's a little duster there. That one's called the feather duster on the fender, it says. Another Mercury there. Boy, there's a lot of 55, 6 Mercury's here. Another Ford cab here. 53 to 5 style, missing the doors. Red Falcon back there. This green one's a Fairlane 500. Here's an advanced design Chevy truck, big old farm truck. Oh, I can see the front end of that bus from here. I'll kind of zoom in if I can. See the, there's a box truck and then there's a bus. It's a 30s bus body. I'll zoom back out, but uh, missing the front clip. So I guess I won't bother going over there. It's a really cool body though. If you had an old 30s truck you wanted to make a bus out of. There's another Falcon Ranchero. Got a big holes here. I think I've seen the largest collection of these Econolines, these early Econoline buses or vans that I've ever seen in one place. There's another one there. That one's a 200 series and here's a Jeep. Well here's a sea of transmissions, mostly automatic transmissions here with aluminum cases. Probably saving those for the scrap pile I'm guessing. Maybe there's some that are saveable, I don't know. You guys that want to rebuild them and stuff. There's a whole pile of them there. It's a big Minneapolis Moline radiator and engine. There's another Ford cab, bump side. Looks like some Chevy doors in front of it. There's a Ford grill, like a 48 to 50 Ford grill on the ground there. Chevy car there. Look at that 49 Plymouth bumper laying up on there. I'm walking through some crunchy grass here, so I'll step ahead. A little quieter down on this stuff here. There's another Ford truck there. 54 or so. A 
Dart GT body there. Mopar. Gonna pan around this side a little bit. Like maybe a Torino? Is that a Torino? Let me see if I can get over a little closer. It's missing the front, so it's kind of hard to, for me anyway, to tell from a distance. Yeah, it looks like a Ford Torino, I believe. It's a Ford anyway. It's a Ford truck that somebody cut out the rear fenders. Looks like a 51 or two. We'll jump ahead a little ways here. A little Ford short box step side there, missing some parts. And we got another advanced design Chevy there. Looks like a short box pickup cab on a frame. Looks like a little Mustang over there. You got a yellow, mustard yellow Dodge truck. Jeep pickup there. Oh, look at this. Talk about patina. This would be a fun one to do here. It's a Coca Cola truck. Looks like the GMC. I think it's Coca Cola, unless somebody, maybe somebody just painted it with that paint scheme, but it sure looks like Coca Cola. It'd be a fun one to put Coke on the door and have it as a patina truck. Another Pontiac hardtop there. Got a Mopar over there, like a 46 or 8. Plymouth probably, two-door. Well, you don't see too many of these around anymore. A little Toyota wagon. Kind of funky. Another Ford front end there. That's a four-wheel drive axle under there, too. Kind of pan around some of these trucks and stuff that are in here. This white one is another uh, unibody Ford. Looks really solid. Here's another Ford 58 or 9. Into the Dodge. Dodge pickup there. Red one's a Ford. Well, we'll skip ahead a little ways here. Now yeah, we're kind of over in the middle of the front section here. So we're just showing a few more of these here. We've got a, a Chevy here with an aluminum grill in it. I don't see too many with the aluminum grills in them. There's a carry-all. Or a Suburban. Well, this one's a GMC. Passenger side is kind of screwed up. But boy, if you needed some driver side parts, get some good, good parts right there. Here's another Chevy pickup. I hate to walk into this deep grass because of all the noise it causes in the video here, but I do want to show you folks what's in here, you know, so... One way to get that done is just drop right in here. A couple more Chevys, got a Toyota pickup over there, blue one. Here's a Scout, Scout 2 here. International. Can I get in the middle of this part here? Sorry, my cord's getting caught on stuff. There's the front of these here. That white one's a Chevy, got it way over there. The white one's a Dodge truck cab. Well, looks like this bed is pulled out here for something. I'm doing something with this one. Got it full of implement parts and stuff. There's another Chevy truck there. Got a Dodge truck cab here. But we'll jump ahead a little ways. Now we'll kind of walk down this aisle here. Here's an old Wrecker bumper. Looks like somebody pulled the cab off that one. It's kind of unfortunate. Usually the, the old Wreckers are pretty cool. So, uh, they're worth saving. There's a 56 Ford. Looks like a wrecker style truck back in there. But a lot of people pull, you know, big truck cabs to make pickups and stuff, but really a wrecker. So I've seen some wreckers bring about as much as a pickup will. So it seems like a lot of, a lot of effort to make a pickup when you could just get a 
like an old grain truck or something that's more common. There's a Willie's Jeep wagon there, two door wagon. This is kind of cool over here. There's a Chevy panel truck here. You don't see too many of these around. Look at the writing on the side there too. Leroy's Bikes, Specialty Sales and Service. That was right in Alliance. Looks like it was probably a motorcycle shop. Judging from the, the bird on there, I don't think it was bicycles. It looks more like a Harley style thing, but could be bicycles, I guess. Oh, we got a few more big boats over here. There's a Plymouth. Right there, it looks like a 64 Bel Air up on the top there, Chevy. Another Chevy below it. There's a GMC truck here. And another, another side, another view of the 56 Ford here. This is some sort of wrecker truck there. That's kind of interesting. Here's another Chevy. This looks like it was a long box, about a 46 or so Chevy pickup. Got the long boards on it. That one's got some really good parts on it. Got one nice headlight. Here again, somebody grabbed the windshield out of that one at some point. Took the doors and stuff, but still got some parts on it. I wouldn't mind having those running boards. Front fender on this side's a little bit dented in there. But anyway, it's a good part struck. Here's the back side of these vans. These are cool. You just don't see a lot of these vans around. Years ago, nobody really wanted them. But now they're kind of kind of fun to have. That one's a handy van, it's called GMC. This one's a Ford Econoline. Maybe this one. Is this one a GMC or what? It's got GMC hubcaps on it. So let's see here. Maybe we can correct ourselves. No, it is a GMC. Well, they're so similar, aren't they? This is the Ford one. Got a Jeep up on top of a wagon there. And you got a few more. One Chevy, two Fords on the vans. Another station wagon over here. So from here we'll jump over to the other side of the building they have here. Well, there's a few trucks here. They're kind of hard to to video because you can see they're right along this trailer house here. But there's a Chevy and a Ford, another Chevy, then the far one over there, the green one's a Ford. This first Chevy is about a 46 or so. Looks like somebody's been doing some derbying over there. Got Taylor's auto salvage on the derby car. Square body cab there. Got another Ford wagon there, the white one. Get over into this aisle here a little bit. I'm guessing that's their workhorse right there. Got the forklift on a payloader. Sure makes it easy to move stuff around. I find if you don't have that kind of equipment, it's just about impossible to do this kind of stuff. That's a little GMC advanced design. Hood's blown off on the ground there. Got some more Chevy pickups here. And we're gonna jump over towards those wagons over that way. Oh, we're up by these wagons, a little Mopar wagon, and this one's a, looks like a Mercury, I think. A little white wagon there. Gonna walk over to this side. There's a couple more derby cars there. Oh, 
We got a little Buick up on the pile. There's another old bus here. That one's a GMC. Looks like a 60 or 61 GMC. The seas of this stuff. Absolute seas. There's another little bump side Ford. Chevy van there. And kind of a light blue Ford pickup in behind there. Or maybe a little one-ton, I'm not sure. Here's a Chevy van. And a four-door Jeep Wagoneer there. Just kind of walking down the aisle. Another old van. Look at it's just have you ever seen so many of those old vans in one spot? There's got to be over a hundred of those early vans. Well, here's a little Toyota Corolla there. Tercel model. There's a Vista Cruiser wagon here. Check out the top of that. That's got the, see the glass windows. Olds Vista Cruiser. Here's that Plymouth that we saw the back end of. Looks like a 46 to 48 style. There's an Aspen. This is probably a Valari. Looks like a Plymouth Valari. There's a big Lincoln. Big four-door Lincoln there. Well, kind of pan around this side and then we'll jump to the next aisle. Dodge pickup there. Well, you can see a Studebaker truck way over there on the side. Got a Mazda MX-6 there. A couple of Volkswagen Beetles in behind there. Another Plymouth here. A couple of Chevys in the back there. There's a little Ford four-door. Pretty solid body on that one. Somebody pulled out the rear end, probably had a nine inch in there. 300 model. There's a Buick. There's a Monza. Two of them, looks like. Looks like a couple Camaros here. Some in behind there too. There's more in that aisle. More of those Camaros. There's a little Nash sedan back in there. And a KB International. This is a this looks like a short box probably. That's a worthwhile truck. I saw a hood laying around here for one of those. Toss that hood on, you just need a front axle. But if you're going to make a hot rod, you don't really need the suspension anyway. Make a good little hot rod there. Or patina rod, whatever you want to make. Another Ford van here. Looks like a Pontiac Firebird there. Probably another couple, there's a couple over there. It looks like uh, three of them are 58, 59 Ford cars. We'll kind of get on this last aisle here. And uh, we'll walk down this last aisle. If we can get over here to the dirt, and be a little less noise for you while I'm making the video. Looks like another 58 or 9 Ford car in there. Monte Carlo right there. Here's one of these Dodge 
wagons, those kind of speedy looking little wagons. Oh boy. Look at the rear bumper there. It's a Magnum wagon. Another Caprice over there, looks like. There's an older car over here. Let's check these out. That far one looks like remnants of a Chevy Coupe, like a 27 or so Chevy Coupe. I'm not sure what this closer one is. Let's see if I can get in to the front of it here. It's a bud body. I'm not sure what that one is. That might be a I don't know if it's like a 29 Plymouth or what that is. Maybe it's a little bit older. Maybe somebody can tell me what that is. I don't know exactly what that one is. Well, we've got a few uh, front clips here. There's a couple Buick ones there. There's a Ford convertible back in there. Got the whole car, it looks like. Looks like a Mopar front clip there and a Pontiac one here. I'm just going to kind of walk back through here. There's a Chevy. This one looks like a 59. Missing the doors. Chevy pickup cab. Big old Lincoln here. Town car. Look at another Chevy uh, bus over here. It's pretty cool. Just going to pan over a few of these vehicles. Trying to get into some parts where I'm not crunching on the grass too much. Get out towards the front here. We're way out towards the road here. We've got some older ones out here. Looks like a 55 or 6 Chevy four door body there. Another Ford convertible there. A Nash in behind it. Got another Nash there. And an Oldsmobile. I see something that I want to check out way over in the back there, so I'm going to go check that out. Well, I wanted to come check this out. This is kind of cool. It's an old race car, stock car. It's been heavily used and heavily modified, but it's a 35 or 6 Ford three window coupe top section that somebody could use to convert one. Pretty cool car though. There's another Ford convertible there. There's another Galaxy 500 here. Gonna pan across the front over here. Way out along the road here. A couple Fords here, Ford pickup, shoebox Ford car. Looks like I see a Buick. Buick over there and a, I think that's a Dodge truck cab, that one missing the doors there. That truck cab is like a 37 or 8 Dodge. Let's see, what's Buick and a Chevy beyond it there and a Ford truck back in there. Got another Cadillac there and a Chevy. Here's the shoe box right there. This looks like a Dodge truck right here. Holyoke, Colorado. Grilling company. Yeah, it's a Dodge. Somebody took the grill out of it. Gonna pan around here. There's another convertible over here. Looks like a Mercury, maybe. Got an old boat. Another Ford there. There's the Chevy out in front of it there. There's another Chevy sedan. Got a 46 or so Ford Coupe there. A big Cadillac. This Cadillac is a two-door hardtop. That'd be a worthwhile car for somebody. 
I've seen pink Cadillacs. That one's a purple Cadillac right there. Some sort of farm apparatus here. Got a Buick wagon back in there. Got an holes out in the front here, two-door hardtop. That makes somebody a good car right there. Gonna get over this way a little bit. And we got an Oldsmobile there. Got another Ford convertible back in there. This looks like a 38 or 9 Ford two-door slant back. Got a Chevy pickup out here. Looks like a 37 or 8 pickup right there. Somebody driving because we're close to the road there. Look at that one's a Diamond T truck right there. Old Diamond T farm truck. Looks like you got quite a few old tractors and stuff over in the distance there. That light blue one there is a Rambler American. Here's a Diamond T right here. Looks like it's got a manure flinger on the back. Another little Ford there. I don't know what the heck that thing is. I don't know if that was a houseboat or what it was. Some sort of framing around it. Looks like it was covered in canvas. No idea. Anybody's guess on that one. Here's a little Studebaker car. This looks like Rambler Row over here. That's a cute little one here. Good shape. So. Rambler Country Club. Another Rambler sedan there. And another Rambler wagon right there. That's the Rambler Row right there. And over on this side, we're getting way towards the end of it here. So this one's a Packard two-door fastback. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like I said. Give us thumbs up, give us good comments. Tell us what you want to see in the future. There's a little Rambler right there. Here's the sedan delivery I was talking about right here. Looks like GM, probably a Chevy. 46 or seven or so, I would guess, right there. Sedan delivery, there's your doors over there. This is the rear door. Got a Ford car here and a Buick. Anyway, uh, give us all the comments you can. There's a Ford there and a Buick. There with a Ford truck hood on it. But anyway, uh, catch us on the next trip. We got all kinds of junkyard swap meets, anything automotive, anything old, antique, bicycle, signs, anything, you name it. We're liable to be anywhere, so catch us on the next trip. Thanks for watching. Okay, folks, we're going to add a little uh, bonus footage. We told you we we're going to show you what we got. We didn't really go down there to buy stuff at this yard specifically. There was one other purchase I was making. I had to go pick it up. So we'll show you what we did get at the yard here. Got a really clean Ford tailgate. Uh, I believe that fits probably 53 up uh, for a number of years, step side tailgate. Then we got a 55 to, to 9 Chevy truck door. Passenger door, not too bad, a little rust is starting on the bottom. And a 58 or 9 grill here for a Chevy pickup. And these are for a DeSoto. Uh, I'm not sure on the year, maybe 55, 56. I think these are 56 actually. They're the uh, bumper guards. So anyway, we got those few things and uh, I'm going to show you one more. I got one more special thing we're going to show you, which was the main thing we went to the to Alliance Nebraska for. So. Uh, We'll just stay with us for a minute.
Well, folks, this was the main thing we went for. This is a 1950s J.C. Higgins boys bike deluxe with a Springer front end. Uh, just a real good looking bike, mostly original, got a little touch up on the paint, but that's really what we went down for. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next round.